I'm going to tell you all something, bro. Your kids are not safe at all. YouTube is doing absolutely nothing to pedophiles and sex offenders who plague this community. I'm telling you, YouTube does not care because you want to know why? They make the money, you know? People will make fun of EDP and call them fat, call them this, call them that, all this bullshit, right? But at the end of the day, he's getting subs. He's getting views. Nigga has almost 15,000 subscribers, probably more. And then people say, like, well, people are subbing to him because they're trolling him. Why the fuck would you sub to a pedophile? Why the fuck would you sub to a pedophile? Like... I would never, ever, 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 ever give my sub, give myself, and give, like, subbing to somebody is helping them, basically. That's how you help them. You're subbing in, you're tuning in, you're watching it, you're causing the problem. Inadvertently, you're putting flame on the, you're putting fuel on the flame. And then eventually it's going to burst out, and the next thing you know, he'll be back to fucking EDP again. Let me tell y'all something. The fact of the matter is, is that they allowed a whole pedophile onto this platform and they're doing nothing to stop him. Yet, people can fucking, they can fucking delete videos, give people warnings, give people copyright strikes, and say, hey, this is your last warning. What the fuck? How the hell is this? I don't even know how EDP is. Three, three, (laughs) I'm speechless. I'm actually speechless. Three motherfucking years ago, he got caught as a pedophile, and he's still out there, and he's doing his thing. He's still doing his motherfucking thing. He's still talking. He's still out here talking his shit. He's getting subs. He's got a documentary coming up. It's fucked up, and YouTube does not give a fuck. Your kids are not safe. Your kids are not safe on the internet. If I was y'all, all you dumbass parents... Who just say, well, I'll just give my kid a phone and let them watch YouTube when they throw a tantrum. You dumb fuck. No. YouTube is not, is not for your child. There's pedophiles. There's sex offenders. Look at Mr. Beast. Nigga got caught up with his stupid fucking sex offending piece of shit employees and his transgender pedophile friend. And what happened? The nigga tried to buy his way out of it. The nigga tried to avoid it. And then when somebody came out and said, oh, Mr. Beast did this to me and my friends. Then Mr. Beast apologized. Nobody gives a fuck until the, until the shit actually hits the fan. You really think Mr. Beast gives a fuck about your kids? You really think Mr. Beast gives a fuck about you? Hell fucking no. You know what they fucking do? They take your money. They're there for your kids. They're there to take your kids away. Look at... Look at the most predominant pe- fucking people or who are on YouTube right now. Look at the most. Look at them. Most of them are pedophiles, sex offenders, money hungry motherfuckers. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Your kids are not safe. Your kids are not safe. Even on YouTube Kids, YouTube Kids is not safe either. They plague the platform. There's videos like Daddy cheating on Mommy or uh, some transgender fucking little stupid shows for kids to fucking. Say like, oh, it's okay to be a girl when you're a boy, or the vice versa. Do you see how the world is right now? We're living in the last days, bro. We're living in the last fucking days, and your kids, they're going to take your kids away. Why? Because the kids are the future. The kids have the energy. That's what pedophiles, sex offenders, and all these transgender people want. That energy to take them away from you. Because they can't have kids. And they can't get into relationships. They're sick. You can't cure these people. These people need to be stopped. And that's what YouTube allows. YouTube allows pedophiles and all these fuck people on here to take your kids away. And then YouTube just says, well, it is what it is. (laughs) You're talking about it? Cyberbullying. I wouldn't be surprised if my fucking channel gets another strike. Because I had a video about YouTube and they said I was mocking his death. I was mocking EDP. Mocking EDP. But he can come out here and mock mad people and then shit on his fans and say, I'm not apologizing to any of y'all. When he went to go see a fucking 16-year-old girl. He had the intentions. Well, it wasn't a real girl. He had the intentions. If I have the intent to make the crime, I'm still going to go to jail. Because I had the intent. My intent was to cause harm. And that's what EDP was. He was going to do that. And I don't give a fuck. All you guys who subscribe to him, you guys are just as bad as him. If not, then you guys condone pedophilia. 
The same thing with Mr. Beast. You hire these motherfuckers, you condone pedophilia, and you condone sex offenders. That's what you do. And fucking YouTube leaves you guys on here, and they allow it because you guys are making the money. You guys are making the money. Do you know how much fucking shit EDP cost when he got caught? That shit almost broke the fucking internet. It went on the fucking news when he first got caught. And then Gideon came, and we all know what happened. Yeah, EDP did not go to jail. Three years. Three fucking years. Three years, dude. Dude got caught twice for committing pedophilia. One sting operation, and he actually did it. He actually fucking messaged a girl. He actually did. I actually messaged one, and he still didn't go to jail. This dude has some... He, I don't know. Do you... What kind do you have holy water or something? Do you have like some kind of like magic power or something where you can't go to jail, EDP? God damn, bro. I went to court for a speeding ticket. Why can't you go to court? Why can't you go to court and say, okay, 25 to life. See you later, Bryant Moreland. Going to the correctional facility in LA County. Come on, dude. Come on, man. Seriously? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And YouTube just sits there and acts like nothing's happening and they pretend everything's okay. That's what YouTube does. They see all these allegations, all these videos, all these people speaking out. And YouTube ignores it all. And just laughs in y'all's face and acts clueless. Why? Because it's all about money. You really think they care about the mental health of your children? Do you think they really care about your mental health? Do they really care that EDP did this crime? No, because they allowed him back on here. They allowed him back on. And now he's probably making some t- kind of money. He can, Well, he got his YouTube channel terminated, so his credentials are probably thrown away. He can just use his family member's credentials. He can use his sister, his daddy, whatever. They get the money in their bank. He just takes it and he pockets it. And then that's it. He avoids actually going to work and actually being something. But... No, it is what it is. YouTube, you're fucking up. You're trash. I swear to God, this fucking community is ass. I hate YouTube now. Seriously. They allow pedophile sex offenders and all these fuckers on here. And then these dumbass fucking dick-sucking fans subscribe to them and make them bigger. <laughs> then they shouldn't be. I'm pretty sure YouTube's going to delete this fucking video and I wouldn't be surprised. I don't care. I really don't care. I'm not going to lose sleep if I lose this channel. I don't care. I really don't care. I don't have that much subscribers. I don't get any views anymore. I don't care. I really don't care. What what am I going to lose if I lose this channel? What? What? Nothing. I'm not making no money on YouTube. It is what it is. It is what it is. Because that's YouTube's law. And it just shows how hypocritical YouTube is. To shut up somebody who's willing to speak out and protect the fucking population. Especially the youth population who are in danger. YouTube won't do it. YouTube won't do it. And I don't care. You can delete my channel. I can just make another one and do the same thing. I don't care, YouTube. I really don't care. I'm here because I'm a concerned citizen. I'm a concerned citizen about these young kids that are being infected by these pedophiles that you motherfuckers leave on here. And you don't take accountability. You are the fucking platform. You have the, the, the power to change it. But you don't do it. You don't do it, YouTube. You don't. And these niggas on here are making a living when they should be in jail. And you don't do nothing about it. YouTube saw everything happen. They even deleted EDP's video beforehand. And they didn't do it. And now they let him back on. They gave him a fucking pass. How do you give a pedophile a pass? Unbelievable. You should be ashamed of yourself. And whoever's running YouTube right now, you should be ashamed. They're probably a pedophile too. I wouldn't be surprised. If you allow all these sex offenders, pedophiles, and these dumbass transgenders who are trying to kill our youth and take them away from us, you allow it. You condone it. What a shame. What a shame. Your kids are not safe. Destroy the telephones. Delete YouTube. Get it out of the house. Your kids are not safe.